The following is to decide the NWA World's Television Championship. It's one fall, no time limit, and there will be a winner. It is also your main event. Introducing first, at 270 pounds, from Waxahachie, Texas, this is Trevor Murdoch. And his opponent, from New Orleans, Louisiana, 195 pounds, Ricky Starks. And this championship would do wonders for both men's career. You've got two men who are at the opposite end of the spectrum when it comes to experience. You've got the wily veteran, Trevor Murdoch, against the up and down, Ricky Starks. But... That's the veteran move right there. If the suplex don't work, the boot will. Absolutely. And winning this match will be the biggest thing in either man's career, no matter where they are on the spectrum. Trevor Murdoch is just going to grind down Ricky Starks. Murdoch, of course, experienced perhaps an Indian summer in his career. A lot of people thought he was out of the business. He disappeared before shooting back into prominence here in the NWA. A couple of months back. What a way to come up. He's given it everything he's got, coming with full force, and the veteran Trevor Murdoch gets his hand on the bottom row. He himself wouldn't be if it wasn't for the allure of that TV championship. Here we go, a test of strength between Ricky Starks and Trevor Murdoch. I can't think that was a smart move by Ricky Starks. Well, Ricky Starks probably thinks he has more gas in the tank after the matchups that he's had. But even so, the power differential between the two. Refusing to let his shoulders touch the mat. Ricky Starks showing that even his neck muscles are ready for this matchup. As he's trying to power up, trying to get the big man down. And despite the weight advantage of Murdoch, the body control. Starks on display there, but again, the widely veteran. Kevin Murdoch knew when he was beat. Pulled out plan B. He's double tough Texan. Looking to slow things down, looking to make history. On a night when history has already been made. Yes, this match is a rarity in the television championship world. There is no time limit. There has to be a winner. So this one's just going to keep running and running. Usually we stick to that 6.05 time limit. But for once, this final to crown our first champion since its return. It's just going to go to a finish. These two taking it to the outside. Exchanging blows. Oh, look at that! Beautiful tiger fake kick there Fantastic. by Ricky Starks. Unorthodox offensive Starks. That left arm of Trevor Murdoch. Was... Looked like he was trying to go in for a flying shoulder tackle. Trevor Murdoch was able to see it coming. Don't let the package fool you. Trevor Murdoch can throw punches better than anybody in the NWA roster. Beautiful stuff to his country. Now Ricky Starks face first into the apron. And you can see a crowd here in the NWA arena completely split in this main event matchup on such a historic night here at hard times. And Ricky Starks building some offense. A flurry of strikes. This audience completely buys into what both men have achieved, but that might be a game changer there. I don't know, half seconds it took him to get back up, but he might regret that decision because he's at the feet of Trevor Murdoch getting further brutalized. But instead of being the fucking but Trevor Murdoch slips the taste out of the mouth. The different stats from Trevor Murdoch. Perhaps that just fired up Ricky Starks. Make no mistake, Ricky Starks is a show off. He likes to pass. Oh, right Nothing but hard concrete, and Ricky Starks went face first into it. I heard the landing. I felt the landing ricochet through the floor. Crawling with everything that he's got. You've ever slipped over on your kitchen floor. You remember how much that hurts? Well, try jumping 10 feet in the air before you land. Back into the ring, but... Beautiful. 
triple suplex by Trevor Murdoch, and will this be enough? Oh, a high landing from Ricky Starks there, right on the back of his neck. And once again, Trevor Murdoch taking his time. Starks riding in pain. I might have been his head. Starks. Looking for a spring. Oh, but he got caught off the top. And so Trevor Murdoch was able to... Ricky Starks immediately grabbing. He could have a broken jaw here. My God, the impact from that clothesline was incredible. You know, best case scenario, it loosened a couple of two, but he, could, he genuinely could have had a broken jaw there. I'm looking very closely at the referee. He's looking very closely. We had a, a close-up view on that. It was right in our corner. Ricky Starks has taken so much damage to his cranium in this matchup. He's like a baseball back to the mouth. Turn him inside this referee needs to get in real close and have a check here. And he's wisely he's backing Murdoch away. He's checking on Ricky Starks. This could be a knockout finish. Ricky Starks, he's saying he wants to fight. He wants to compete. This is a different side to Trevor oh, Murdoch. He knows how big this is. Speaking of big, he's putting Ricky Starks on the top turnbuckle. A glassy eyed look on the face of Ricky Starks. Hey, if Ricky Starks came into this one fresh, he's certainly not fresh now. Starks Somehow out. swinging back. Oh, look at that with both hands. Look at the face of Trevor Murdoch. Oh, you can't. You can't. You can't. There's no way. There's no way. Ricky Stark summoning the strength for that. After eating all of that offense from Trevor Murdoch. Still, Ricky Starks is in this fight. Yeah, I thought he was dead and buried. I saw that close line to the jaw. I saw the glassy-eyed look on his face. But look at the steely-eyed determination look, he has now. He's looking for the stroke. Trevor Murdoch had it scouted. Ricky Starks knowing that Trevor Murdoch had already eaten a devastating spin.